So morning everyone, it is the last Covid cam of um, the school year, but two parts today, we're going to be a first little part coming up and then later on this afternoon there'll be a final video. So we're going to head up into school, we're going to go and um, see some friendly faces as we wave by. Alright, let's get going. Right, so let's get some final birthday shout outs done for this Covid cam before we break up for the holidays. Um, we've missed a few over this last week. Miss Bell, she had a birthday that we miss, and also Miss Coward did in the office. So happy birthday to you. Charlie Monaher, I think I missed yours as well, Charlie, even though I saw you with your big badge on. So I hope you had a great birthday as well. And there's also one final birthday that I know about, and he's desperate to get a shout out. Um, it is his last day in school with us today as well because he's moving to a different school so Kieran Rippon here is a massive birthday shout out to you hope you have a wonderful day so there we go I've probably missed loads of birthdays apologies for that but they are our final birthday shout outs for Covid cam to date and one more final birthday it is Sean Reid's birthday tomorrow and Sean will be six years old so happy birthday to you as well Sean so one of the other things we need to do today is go and find out who won the potato competition. If you remember just before lockdown, we planted loads of potatoes around school and during the during lockdown, Mr Buxton and Mrs Buxton have been popping into school, making sure that they've been, been growing and keeping them watered. And today we're going to go and find out who has won three of the awards across school for best potatoes, most potatoes, the biggest potato and the most weight. So let's go and find out. Let's go and see what Mr Buxton can tell us. Right, so here we go into the allotment and we're going to find out who has won the various potato competitions. And here we have Mr Buxton and Mrs Bulmer. So we're going to tell us our look one one wheelbarrow full of some lovely potatoes so mr buxton's been coming in working really hard and getting all the gardens sorted over the over the last few weeks and mrs bulmer has kindly donated some wonderful trophies that she's going to now announce who's won what so miss buxton uh, miss bulmer and mr buxton what have we got you want to tell us what's happened Oh, Mr. Buxton's, Mr. Buxton's Mr. Buxton's got it there. And that goes to FS1 PM. Well done, FS1 PM. And the next one is the most potatoes from any one yield. And there were 39 potatoes from 4B. Excellent job, 4B. There we go. And then the most combined weight of potatoes, which came to 2,500 grams worth of potatoes, and that goes to FS2B. Well done, FS2B. So there we go. Fantastic trophies there. Look at these wonderful potatoes. And I think they're going to be on sale at the front of school today. So there we go. There are our potatoes. Thank you, Mr. Buxton, for coming in and looking after these over the over the lockdown period. And thank you, Mrs. Bulmer, for donating the trophies. And we look forward to it happening all again next year. Right, so we're now up in FS2 and we found Miss Bell. So Miss Bell is going to be awarded the trophy for the best yield of potatoes. And Mrs. Bulmer's here as well. So here you go, Miss Bell. Here's the little award for you. Well done, FS2B. Right, we're now with FS1 PM. So we've got Mrs. Jackson and Mrs. Barraclough and Mr. Buxton has got their winning potato. The largest potato grown. All right, so Mr. Buxton and Mrs. Bulmer have got the trophy to hand over to Mrs. Jackson, Miss Barraclough. So here you go, you are winners. A good job, well done guys, super job. There we go, look at that FS1 PM. There you go. Well, it's that time of the school year where we do have lots of goodbyes to do. Um, we've got lots of children who are moving off to new places. We've had some go over the last week or two, and we've got many more who it's their last day with us today um, in school. So, or 
virtually in school as it were um, we're wishing you all of you lots of families moving all over the place um, hope you've had lots of lovely memories that you're taking with you from the Cato we wish you well in your new schools I hope you're settling really quickly and that you have a really good time we're also going to say bye to some members of staff um, Mrs Whiteley and Mrs Henderson are both um, finishing with us today they've both been working with the jellyfish class over the last few months so we thank them for all of their hard work and for being part of our school also to Mrs Pickering who's been working um, alongside Mrs Whitby with the 56CW class um, just as well for you Mrs Pickering thanks for all your hard work and your efforts and we wish you well but no doubt we'll see you in and out of school doing some other bits and pieces and we also say bye today to Mrs Carter Mrs Carter has been working with a number of children across school and will be heading back to Germany. Mrs. Carter is from Germany, but is moving back to Germany with her husband, um, who's got a job over there. So it is Mrs. Carter's final day with us. So we wish you well, Mrs. Carter, and all the best for your move back to Germany. Um, Mrs. Johnson's also um, stepping down from her bits and pieces in school, working um, with some children down in year one. Although Mrs. Johnson will be about in school because she'll be still doing breakfast club and the lunchtime work. Um, so if you are leaving, have a great time in your new places. But remember, everything that you've picked up at the Cato... As I said, hope you have some really fond memories of us and some treasured things that you can look back on. But we wish you all well in your moves. So goodbye from everyone at Lakato.